welcome welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the cancers I love you cancers hello you're my opposite sign how are you doing okay cancers let's see what's coming Woo, cancers it's gonna be good it's gonna be good um, remember cancers this is just a general reading we all vibrate on different energy vibration so if um, the reading doesn't affect you go back and listen at 2018 2019 2017 2016 remember that these are general readings so if it's a, um, if the situation doesn't affect you go back and look at those years Wow thank you um, another thing I should say to you is that the extended reading I'm going to stop doing an hour yes ladies and gentlemen you were receiving an hour reading for a dollar ninety nine ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. but you guys weren't buying it so you wouldn't know <laughs> anyway that is going to be changing go and check out the general reading because there is going to be more information this reading is from October November and December okay rebirth okay judgment this is rebirth okay some of you a child could be born um, there is a karma energy that you have to clear with this child there is definitely a rebirth with a child or there is um, a rebirth for some of you in a child but there is a rebirth and this rebirth is coming up and we're going to be looking because this is a water sign this is the sign of judgment it can be unexpected information coming to you it could be the energy of Pluto removing um, uh, a Pisces or scorpion out of your life three of Pentacles is here all right so it's a rebirth where people are going to be working together with you woo, 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 woo. you are moving forward whatever is happening this rebirth is going to give you cancers a move forward relocation is here for you cancers whatever is happening relocation is here for you it's a snow judge um, um, and the truth is going to be coming out because they're going to be seeing the truth about a situation water so you begin the quarter October's water where information unexpected news a rebirth for you guys is going to come out but information is going to be coming in relocation is here and whatever is transpiring I'm seeing if you have to move there is going to be help that is going to be coming up okay so if you have to be moved if you're going to be relocating um, I'm seeing that coming up because I'm seeing that there is some relocation that is going to be happening for you okay so whatever is transpiring there is some relocation so I'm seeing unexpected information some of you could be offered a better job some of you are going to be relocating some of you are dealing um, with a scorpion some of you are going to be seeing the truth about a scorpion whatever the information that is coming in and whatever that is you are going to be seeing um you're going to be finding out something about either your transportation um so if you um you, some of you could be relocation but some of you could be also receiving a new job where you need to travel okay um transformation rebirth and that sort of a thing so let's look at this and see what's coming up for the cancers because some of you are definitely dealing with the Pisces or the cancers there is some some of you are really dealing with a Pisces or the scorpion okay mm -mm -mm. Queen of Swords is in reverse okay 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 so Alrighty, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a. Oh my God! Okay, some of you who were dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, I'm seeing you moving away from this person. You're leaving this person, whether this person is here, leaving this person. I am seeing that you found out something about this lady, and whatever you found out about this person, you're going to be. Um, relocating I'm seeing some of you who had 
whatever legal issues with this lady I'm seeing you overcoming this legal issues burdens you are going to be have to be carrying some burden ten of ones because some of you are going to be relocating moving away from this person but you're going to be taking some burdens so whatever is transpiring whoever is having a situation with a lawyer or a situation with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra woman 45 years and older this person had created a lot of burdens for you and whoever this person is you're seeing the truth about this person now whoever this person is you're definitely seeing the truth about this person and uh, you're overcoming the situation and the conflicts is going to be over because this lady whoever this lady is some 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 information is going to come out about this lady and this lady is in some serious serious problem because whoever this lady is she has done something and there is some conflicts that is coming out and this lady is in some serious problem because I'm seeing conflicts and the conflicts is going to be over because you're going to be overcoming these conflicts because whatever and whatever they're they have created because I'm seeing in December you're carrying some burden because this person whoever this person is has recreated so many issues and so many burdens for you that you are now trying to resolve all of them but you're going to be moving away from these situation you're going to be overcoming the situation okay it, it, it is as if this person had got you in so much situation but I'm seeing you moving forward and overcoming and it's as if you are just cutting you 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 are just all clap up I know my destiny I know where I'm going I know what I'm doing and you're and it's okay to the rest of the world because I'm moving forward and this is good for you cancers because you were and this cancer whatever is happening this could be a boss this could be but a Capricorn is going to be coming in and helping you okay some information you're going to be receiving from a Capricorn or something that is going to be coming up with a Capricorn they are going to be coming in because they're your opposite sign Neptune is as if your angels and guides are going to be telling you all to move forward it's as if your angels and guides and spirit guides are going to be there protecting you on this new transformation or relocation the an healing is definitely coming in um, some of you are definitely going to be having a healing whatever is happening whatever is transpiring some of you are definitely definitely going to be having a healing to whatever is happening and transpiring Queen of Swords is um, the energy of a Leo this could be a lover but this could be um, a, um, a lover that you were having a relationship with this person is about to drop you flat Whoever this person is, this person is about to drop you flat because um, someone is going to be telling this person, it can be a Capricorn, is going to be telling this person something. Uranus come in, whereas there's a resolution for a, a problem and a resolution for the burden that you have been carrying. Um, there is breakthroughs, there is somehow. Uh, as I said, Neptune, because Neptune is going to help you guys, because you know your Pisces, your Cancers. Neptune is coming in the unseen, and they are going to be connecting with you via your intuition and tell you something about your partner that is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or if you were divorcing from someone. Some unexpected information is going to come from people from higher ups, and you're going to be finding out something. So you Cancers, you return. You cancers or having conflicts you return in your energy vibration checked out the extended reading because whatever is happening um, uh, and you cancers that is in conflicts whatever is happening what is happening is that uh, an unexpected resolution healing is going to be coming up in December because an unexpected resolution is going to be happening this period is about uh, um, people who are divorcing um who are who were married and is divorcing and people who are having a relationship with um the Aquarian Gemini or Libra now there is a Taurus in the mix of this thing 
whoever the Taurus is at whatever this issue is all about your materialistic stability okay it's all about the practical the pra practicality of what is transpiring now the Taurus is in the effort is in the second house your second house is going to be affected you cancer so whatever is happening your second house is going to be affected now what is taking place and I want to know what is this Capricorn because unexpected news or um but I, I I you know the energy of this Capricorn it could be unexpected news from your boss and that is going to be in October um, to let you know whether or not your contract uh, so unexpected news from your boss is going to be coming in um, wise endurance what is happening for the cancers please show us what is happening for the cancers all right we are having a situation with the cancers and their boss we're having a situation with cancers and um, the Capricorn what is coming out okay Alrighty, bam, bam, bam. Ha! <laughs> okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Some of you are going to be realizing that a Capricorn is your twin flame or soulmate. Okay, I do know that you and the Capricorns are the best lovers, and I do know that you and the Capricorns are the best marriage people. <laughs> Some of you are going to be finding out that you're in love with a Capricorn. Ooh, it is your opposite sign, and you both are are good together. Honestly, um, I have always given out my thing, but I'm hoping really that this is Wendy. I swear to God, I hope that this is Wendy Williams. I hope you find the love of your life and trust me Wendy if you're listening to this you deserve to be with a Capricorn okay I know our Kelly is a Capricorn but not all Capricorn is like this and I am really wishing for Wendy to find the love of her life and if this is you Wendy it's in a Capricorn some of you who are reaching out and looking for the love of your life you're gonna be finding them they are Capricorns so some unexpected news you could be connected with a Capricorn or con you could be uh, connected with a Capricorn Neptune an invitation is coming in but this invitation is from your spirit guides and your angels and guides okay subconscious the mighty I am present self the silence the emptiness the spirit guides the angels are inviting you to connect with them and they are going to be showing you the way forward it's like just take some time off just take the time off listen to your own intuition and guides they're going to be showing you the way to go okay Ooh, some news is coming out about work but there is an healing and this is this is really good so whatever that was transpiring with work or what that was transpiring with slew people people who have two faces fox that ooh, it's coming out and there's going to be an healing okay it's coming out and there is definitely going to be an healing so something is about to come out about work whatever this is there's going to be um, a healing towards the situation at work and a heal in between you and someone who was very slow sight now for the people who are married I'm seeing this marriage is coming to an end I am seeing that some of you are realizing there's a lot of um, communication because your marriage is about to end and this is going to be affecting the people who are married to Aquarian Gemini's or Libra or Leo's Aquarian Gemini's Libra or Leo so if you were married to these people I'm seeing your marriage coming to an end you are connecting and talking about this ten of ones the burdens with a child some of you are having some burdensome situation with a child 
because there's unexpected breakthroughs that is going to be coming through some of you are dealing with an issue with a child whatever this issue is is coming up in the set November and December and this issue needs to be resolved okay it can't go any further it needs to be resolved now for the, the people who are in conflicts or there was conflicts this conflict is coming to an end um this is how it is this conflicts is now coming to an end so whatever that was happening whatever that was transpiring whoever this cancer was and this conflicts it is now coming to an end okay so definitely you cancers whoever were having conflicts out there it's coming to an end that you know um, some of you are going to be re feeling this conflicts because they're going to be realizing what you have done so they're definitely going to be realizing what you have done some of you are going to be having new contracts and some of you could be getting married so some of you can serve the general energy for this um, is that you could be having new contracts or you are going to be getting married to a Taurus so or you're going to go in business with a Taurus so whoever you are out there however way it connects with you some of you could be getting married with a Taurus some of you could be signing new contracts with a Taurus however it gets in that is what is playing out you're definitely receiving an, an invitation from a Taurus um, with a new contract what I'm seeing here is that the whatever you can says of what's doing and dealing this is going to be over let's see what else is coming in angels of love is in reverse the angels of love is in reverse who cancers yes I can understand that I can definitely understand the angels of love is in reverse because there's issues with your kids for some of you there is a, there is really issues with your kids whatever is happening whatever is transpiring there really is issues with your kids okay so um, there's a disconnection um, with relationship because you're not in the right relationship with the right person um, divorce or separation is coming up for some of you there is definitely a huge um, riff between you and your partner um, there could be an old separation that you're still going through Some of you the love remains alive in one heart but in the other not you can't find some of you um, is unable to let go of a whole love so the universe is really waiting for you um, to free your hearts so that this new love can comes in so look in the mirror and see the angels of love there with you okay Whew. Ooh, cancers come on come on come on number three you need love and care um, in this period because angels of love is in the reverse you need love and care you need to start loving yourself you cancers mm -mm -mm. Uh, you need to start loving yourself number three energy is coming up again you can you water signs are having the number three energies um, there is there is a situation where some of you are just closed off by love where love is um, open up some of you are holding on on a Capricorn because you know that that is the love of your life and um, yes you're right um, Definitely, I think some of you are going to be reach out and say that in October for whatever the reason and the situation is. I think some of you are going to be reaching out and saying that in October. So whatever that is there and whatever that is transpired, I definitely think that some of you are going to be reaching out and saying that in October. So whatever that is happening and transpired, I need you to eat your eat your heart. I need you to love yourself in the spirit because it's coming up. I want to say to you, Kansas, I love you. Please like, share these videos. 
whatever that is happening and transpiring in your world and in your life you need to understand that love is the only thing love is the only thing that heals situation and things around you and um you know whoever this capricorn is reach out to them because you know they're going to be reaching out back to you because i'm seeing that some of you really really have uh, as if you wish things were different between you and this person okay do that a lot of you are going to be divorcing and separated in this period um so be aware of that and i'm saying namaste until next time use the link here or the link there or the link down there <laughs> to pick up your um extended reading namaste mm -hmm.